Nice view. Kita ada, kita ada di mana nih, Dek? Ini namanya apa ya? Oh, Dolby Family Terrace. Ini teras rumah gue. Suaranya Dolby. Oh, jadi kalau oh, oh. Oh. Around. Video ini diambil bulan November 2021 di Academy Museum tepat seminggu setelah resmi iya dibuka untuk umum. Iya. Gue sempat di dreaming gitu. Asik kali ya. Kalau one day ini bisa kasih nilai. Ini, ini sarjana Kita diundang resmi buat nih. cara film. Tiba-tiba setahun kemudian. <laughs> hidup tuh ternyata penuh dengan misteri. Coba bayangin. Ini di tempat yang sama. Di lokasi gue berdiri tepat setahun lalu juga. Tapi dengan rencana dan agenda yang jauh berbeda dari apa yang gue pernah bayangin. Diundang dan jalan di blue carpet untuk world premiere sebuah film Hollywood. Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. namanya benar loh. Yeah. Mereka nyebut namanya benar penulisan hanya juga benar semua. Crazy. Malah nama aku justru dari mulai aku sekolah ke US. Nama aku tuh udah gak pernah salah ditulis loh. Sampai akhirnya maksudnya balik lagi kerjaan di Indonesia. <laughs> Baru. Tapi gak, gak separah dulu. Cuma tetap aja kalau ini di luar negeri pasti selalu benar. Pasti hanya dulu. Anyway, gue lompatnya kejauhan deh kayaknya. Coba ya, gue ceritain gimana gue bisa sampai ke LA. Jadi... Gue dikirim sama Netflix Indonesia untuk datang ke acara world premiere Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery. Tapi gak cuma datang untuk nonton dan juga jalan di blue carpet. Nih liat nih, gue deket banget. Kenapa? Karena di sini gue juga diminta untuk ikutan press junket. Alias nge-interview para pemain dan juga director dari film Glass Onion. Bikin deg-degan, gue satu-satunya perwakilan dari Asia Pasifik. Halo. Hei, bisa masuk. Jadi aku ikut nonton. Pakai baju biru, punya sesar. Let's go. Ah. Eh. Ha, eh, lagunya Wizard Hollywood apa sih? Enggak ya. Beverly Hills. That's where I wanna be. Jeng jet. Oh, kime, kime, kime. LA 2022. November. 2026, 2027, my show. Mengundang orang-orang. Saya mengundang. Hey Bill, hey. Hey, this is Iqbal. Yes. Are you still picking us up at 5.15? All right. Well, that's awesome. How long does it take for you to get here? 10? Okay. Uh, Yeah, actually, we make it like 5.10 instead. It's okay with that? All right, man. Thank you so much. I'll see you at SLS. All right. Bye. Kayaknya nggak salah dong kalau gue udah ngekes. Tapi gue juga lebih ke excited sih. Karena ini pertama kalinya gue ke premiere dijemput. Biasanya mau film sendiri kayak mau ke film teman. Ya pasti berangkat dan pulang tuh ya sendiri gitu. Udah gitu mobilnya bagus sih. World I mean, I've seen so many movies, honestly, it's uh, there was the last one that we saw with the kids. Uh, Ini kita di perjalanan yeah, menuju ke Academy yeah. Museum. Nah, itu udah ketemu sama LO-nya kita. Pakai LO coba datang ke premier. Gue masih inget banget tahun lalu masuk lewat entrance yang sama. Tapi baru banget buka musim ini. But like, can I choose not to walk? Like, yeah, with this as well. Yeah, okay. If you want, we can go straight to the main. Okay. Who's talking right now? So this is the red carpet with fans, and then some producers are talking. But we don't have to, karena blue carpet yang with press and photographersnya ada di atas. Yeah, no, we blue carpet. Exactly. <laughs> Gini. <laughs> exactly. Shall we just go? Hold on to this. Yeah, sure. Um, 
completely if you want to walk this part of it or go straight there. I think let's just go straight there. Go straight there? Okay. Yeah. I will make sure tiketnya ada dua. Sir, red pass. Gue gerang banget dong. Ya, happy gila. Ini by the way diarahin ke lounge gitu. Santai-santai sebelum naik ke atas. Buat blue carpet sama akhirnya nonton screening kelas audience. Right. Okay. Is it like free seating? Or like no, on your ticket, on your ticket as okay. seats. And they'll come and let everybody know when it's time to move there. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Ganyem dulu, boy. Main sih. Kayaknya kalau di sini karena flow-nya banyak. Jadi semua udah punya tugas masing-masing kan. Tadi ada yang di red carpet depan. Ada yang buat di bagian dalam apa namanya? lounge room gitu kali ya. Terus dari tadi ketemu banyak ini ya, pemain nice out yang pertama ya. Yeah. Ada Linda and there's the kid. <laughs> kalau secara lu sih kita nggak boleh foto. Cuma tadi kalau nanya the worst thing that can happen kan ditolak yeah. ya. Yeah. Nanti kalau ada lagi. Just shoot your shot, baby, and I mean it. Mirip lah kayak premier di Indo, isinya kan ada aktor aktris lain atau apa public figures, influencers, sama. Cuma di sini kelasnya Hollywood. Coba ada bar-bara Palvin, terus gue bisa ngobrol. Tuh, ini ini audionya bet bet aja gue matiin ya. Ini emang karena gue nervous, gue lupa nyalain mikrofon. <laughs> Jadi aja gue juga. Gak, gak inget sebenarnya apa yang gue berani karena gue panik banget terus gue nanya boleh nggak gue foto dia lalu dia berpose buat gue here we go terus dia pose lagi dia unexpectedly baik banget sih dan super asik super cool I mean bro look look how very cute man what the hell Terima kasih, Mbak Barbara. Beep? Hey man, um, good, how are you? Beep fucking wins, man. Ini gue lagi ngobrol dan starstruck tentang gila gimana dia dan musiknya bareng sama Fallout Boy nemenin hari-hari emo gue selama gue SMA. Ini gue lagi ngebahas beberapa band popang termasuk yang dari Indonesia. One, two, three. Perfect man, good to see you. Hopefully you can see you in Indonesia playing some concert real soon, man. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh gila, aku tunggu sama dia. We're okay with filming? Uh, I, I think so. Did they say something? Did they say no. good? No. I think you're okay. They'll walk in the car. Are you guys challenged? Okay, so yeah. there's actually someone to escort you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No ice. Okay. Tahun lalu kita juga kesini. Tapi sebagai tamu. Maksudnya turis, sorry sorry panik. Asli. Oh, blue. Good call. Very good call. Ini kita menuju ke area blue carpet. Ini LO-nya lagi ngejelasin itinerary buat kita. Kita bisa ngapain aja di blue carpet. Terus akan ngapain setelah blue carpet ini. Screening-nya ada di lantai berapa. Kita punya waktu berapa lama untuk ada di area ini. Dan lain-lain. Sangat detail sih. Everything has been very proper. Gak ada waktu-waktu yang bikin gue nunggu atau bengong gak jelas sampai ke titik ini. Jadi boleh ngambil konten, foto, video apapun di sebelah sini. Nanti fotografer saya ada di sebelah sana sih. They're already waiting. Nah, gue tuh sempat panik kayak emang kalau gue ke blue carpet ada yang motoin gue. Terus pas gue bahas sama yang onya, ternyata lihat deh. Dia tuh punya face recognition paper gitu. Isinya orang-orang yang emang berhak dan udah ditungguin untuk di blue carpet buat di foto sama Getty Images dan other American videos. Dan ada muka gua di situ. Itu yang bikin kayak, oh, what? Ini, ini, ini. 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 Ini, ini
pretty cool. Yeah, right. I went here last year, like a week after it opened. Uh-huh. It was amazing. It yeah. was like golden oh, hour. Yeah. I can see my house from here. Oh yeah, that's, okay. that's amazing. And they're from the same Yeah. Can I do the same? Can I? Go ahead. Yeah. Fujifilm analog. Ready boys? Three, two, one. Thank you. Gila dapat gambar itu. Wow. Lalu kita ke screeningnya. Gue nggak banyak ngerekam, tapi gue punya footage ini. Hello everybody, uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, I promise I'm gonna be really, really quick, so we can get this show started. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, I'm gonna bring out uh, some of our cast and crew really quickly. Like, why don't you give a huge round of applause for Rom Bergman, our producer? Yeah. Two people who are missing from up here. Dave Bautista is shooting right now, and we want to send love out to him. Also, Daniel Craig, our fearless leader, came down with a bug, and he's not here. He's heartbroken. I wonder if we could record just a real quick little video and say we all love you, Daniel. Is everyone down? All right, everybody all together say, we love you, Daniel. Oh, miss you. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the party after. This is insane, right? This is pretty crazy. Let's have fun. Here we go. Thank you, guys. Looking really slight. Ini semua surreal banget sih. Dan di momen ini gue lebih kepengen bengong. Kalau ngebayangin tahun lalu, ini tuh cuma kayalan babu untuk bisa diundang resmi di sebuah acara Hollywood. Terus sekarang gini, aneh banget asli. You can just come here. Okay. Foto sama drivernya dulu, Bill namanya. Ah, akhirnya nyampe juga. Wah gila sih, panjang banget harinya, sejat lagi juga. Naik aja kali ya, istirahat dulu ya. Yuk. Lanjut lagi. Oke. Okay. Yuhu. This is the real deal. Hari ini interviewnya. Cuma ternyata Tom Danielnya sakit. Jadi nggak ikut. Which is nggak apa-apa lah. Jadi bisa ngobrol sama director lebih panjang. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Again. <laughs> you are the Asian guy last night with the camera? Yeah. There's probably only one Asian guy with a camera last night. That was only me. Interview yang kali ini tuh jauh lebih challenging dari yang sebelumnya. Udahlah, enggak ada guide untuk pertanyaannya sama sekali. Gue juga harus submit pertanyaan yang fix untuk ditanyain dari jauh-jauh hari. Masalahnya Kadang-kadang suka ada aja tuh ide-ide pertanyaan yang muncul di dekat hari H atau bahkan di momen-momen sebelum interview. This is Danny. Dia juga nganterin The Pesh Mode, Martin Gore sama almarhum Andy Fletcher. Crazy. Hi Mr. Ramda, how are you doing? Hello, good. How are you? Hi, good. Cool. Awesome. 
Okay. Good, how are you? Yeah, good. Would you like a cold water? Uh, a charger, Wi Fi, hand good. sanitizer, mints? Whoa. Oh, That's so you. complete. <laughs> how far is the, um, the hotel? Yeah. It's only like five minutes away. Oh. With the traffic? Yeah, it's like Whoa. just down the street. It's like a mile away. Oh, yeah. Did I show you guys that I won the lottery? You won a lottery, what? What? a lot of. Whoa. Here's the number. And here's my number. Oh. Six wow. numbers, right? Ten? One point nine billion dollars. Huh? No way. I'm super rich. Did she just win any Indonesian girls wanna meet me? Oh, <laughs> congratulations! Really? Daddy. <laughs> no, I'm playing you guys. I put a different date. I put the same numbers, but on a different date. Oh, <laughs> man, imagine. Imagine. I was playing with this lady friend of mine, you know. We go in lottery tickets together, you know. Ah. Uh, oh God, the winner. <laughs> Good seeing you. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I'll see you next Have time. Good one, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Kita udah nyampe di venue day 2 di mana jangketnya yeah. diadain. Ini di sebuah hotel di daerah Beverly Hills. Hello. Um, I'm here with Netflix. For uh, Netflix. Which, uh, you know, yeah, because we have two Netflix. Uh, um, it's the Glass Onion one. Oh, it's 10 seconds. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Look, it's recording. Ini ibu candid ngevideoin gue lagi nyatet uh, list pertanyaan yang ada di handphone ke sebuah notes. Dan juga kalau ada ide-ide yang tiba-tiba muncul di proses ini, gue juga langsung tulis di kertas ini. Ini deg-degannya mampu sih. Dan gue gak pernah tahu kapan gue dipanggil, jadi harus selalu siap gitu. Bismillah. Terima kasih. Ya ini. Itu dia. So hi guys, my name is Iqbal and I'm from Indonesia. I'm an actor, but I'll, I'm also studying media communication. So everything that I'm going to be questioning today comes from my curiosity and burning passion for acting. Oh. Firstly, congratulations on the movie. You guys did amazing, a phenomenal work. Um, but if I may throw it back a little bit, I want to know um, if you can share your first reaction when you first got the script and finished reading it for the first time, what was it like for you guys? <sighs> My first reaction? I wish I had like a really cool memory about this, but I don't. I, I remember being like, really excited. I don't remember what I did. I think I must have called my agent and said, what do you do? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I think, well, the first time I read it, I guess I, I read it really slowly. It took me a while. Oh, really? It's yeah. a long script. It was a very long script, but um, I read it really slowly, and I finished it, and then I was like, oh, fuck, it's so good. <laughs> um, and then I think a, a couple of days later, I had my, um, I think it was either my, my callback or my, my director session with Ryan. Mm. So. Did you guys guess what happened in the end? Like, did you have Not correctly. Not, not yes. correctly. Yeah. Not. I couldn't get it. Yeah. Right. But what made you guys decide to be a part of this big franchise, you know, apart from the success of the first Knives Out? How could you say no? Yeah. I mean, it, was it like any specific like character exploration that you were like interested in that you want to like get into exploring? I just wanted to be amongst such a great group of people. Hmm. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Ryan. I wrote him fan mail when I was 17. Really? Yeah, wow. or 16 actually. Oh, 15. It would have been. Uh, Did yeah, you know 15. about that? 
Wow. Did he see like your email? Did I you when I when I had the audition with him, I I told him I said, "Yo, <laughs> what did I, you say? I wrote you fan mail, and you never replied." <laughs> and uh, when I got the role, mm. he wrote me a, a letter as if he were responding to my fan oh, mail. That's so that is that's very so cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Do you still have it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got Can it. Can you read it to me? I will. Okay. <laughs> that's amazing. And to Madeline, in my opinion, I think Whiskey is one of the most relatable character, not because I'm like her, mm -hmm. but it feels like. We all have that one person in our life that is whiskey. You know what I mean? So like, I was wondering, what was the character exploration like? Did you watch any specific videos, or was it based on like someone's personality at all? Like, what was the exploration? Oh uh, no, like? I think whiskey was whiskey. I mean, I say this like I, I, I did. I, I just looked up um, videos on YouTube, influencers on YouTube, Instagram. Um, you know, people that I've seen hmm. here in LA, uh, people I've watched. Um, I whiskey was never based off of one person in particular. Hmm. Um, she was just kind of a mishmash of all my uh, favorite things uh, about uh, influencers. influencers. <laughs> you know how when you watch awesome. people and they're such characters, yeah. but, and they don't even realize it. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. they just do the, it, the, that kind of thing. Um, and I think also, you know, she enjoys being underestimated because I think she she finds a, I think she enjoys playing the game hmm. with people. I think she enjoys proving people wrong. Is there any Madeline Klein in whiskey or vice versa? I would say uh, I also I, I I think one way I can relate to whiskey is I also think it's fun to be underestimated sometimes. To be um, the dog. Because there's there well you can also I think it's. I think it's just a fun, um, you can, I think you can sometimes uh, outsmart people hmm. in that way when they think, and I feel like they think they know more than everybody else in the room. Um, and I think whiskey is smarter than she lets on. Yeah, when you're underestimated, you have a bigger chance to surprise people as well. Totally. And I was also curious about the biggest difference for you between filming a series and also a film, and which one do you prefer more? I prefer film. Hmm. I, I like I think the pace is nicer. Yeah. Hmm. Um and uh I felt like there was more time to kind of uh sink her teeth into to this. Um and to well, and I guess in any um any film I've worked on, the pace is much slower. Hmm. Um the shoots are shorter, generally, I would say. Um food's better. Food, <laughs> food's better. Um but that's not to say TV isn't great. I love <laughs> I love TV, TV, but as far as experiences go, I like uh, film more. Cool. And to Jessica, you have a Southeast Asian roots, and you have inspired so many young people from the region, including myself, oh. with what you have achieved. Thank you. Any words of wisdom that you would like to express? We were just talking about this. Uh, hike your own hike. You know, everyone's path is different. Don't try and copy anyone else's. Love that. Uh, believe in yourself. Just keep at it. Keep remembering why why you wanted to do it. Awesome, I'll take notes of that. One last question. If you were about to play another character, who is it and why? Benoit. Benoit? Benoit. Oh, I, yeah. No, it can't be the same. There's gotta be only one detective in the movie. What if it's like what if it's a team? It's like two people who are detectives. Wait, mm. okay, wait. You gotta talk to Ryan about that. <laughs> okay. She's the blank. It's the we're gonna stop. <laughs> Blank. You're blank. You're blank. Who are you going to yeah, play and why? One, one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Thank you so much you guys for the opportunity. Gue nekat bawa kamera gue dan ternyata mereka ngebolehin gue foto. Ini hasilnya. Gue suka banget. Lanjut ke ruangan berikutnya. Biasanya sih paniknya itu memang di interview-interview yang pertama. Jadi kalau berkesempatan untuk dapetin beberapa interview, yang kedua dan seterusnya harusnya udah bisa jauh lebih chill. Tapi tetap prepare for the worst. Ini gue lagi bahas kamera nih sama Pak Director Ryan Johnson. Karena sebenarnya semalam dia tuh udah lihat kamera gue di after party. Dia juga udah sempat tanya udah dicuci belum karena dia mau lihat. Ryan Johnson, hi. Hello. My name is Iqbal and hey. I'm from Indonesia. 
we met last night. Yeah. I'm an actor. I'm also studying media and communication as my degree. Very cool. So everything that's coming out from my mouth today comes out from curiosity and burning passion for acting. I and I'm it. here to learn from you. That's great. First question. Why Glass Onion from the Beatles song? Well, when I first started writing the movie, I came up with sort of this metaphor. Okay, it's, there should be something in the movie that's made of glass, the idea that it seems complicated, but it's actually very simple and clear. Okay. And uh, I actually just took my phone and opened my music app and searched for the word glass. Yes. And I'm a big Beatles fan, so that was Who's the first your favorite thing up. I vastly, you know, when I was growing up, it was always Paul. Paul. It's Probably, although, and then I kind of switched to George. Oh, and, okay. And uh, once I got into his solo work, hmm. and then I got really into John when I started getting into his. So I feel like I've cycled through all right. of them, and now I'm like, I guess Ringo is next, I guess. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a... But uh, yeah, but it's also, I mean, it's perfect, the Glass Onion song, because it's a song about kind of a fake mystery. It's a song about John kind of taking the piss out of all these things, all these lyrics, Beatles yeah. lyrics that seem like deep mysteries, but are actually just kind of dumb little things. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I also want to know as a director, what is your approach to your actors in terms of building the character's arc? Did, mm -hmm. did you envision how each character is going to be? Because you're the writer as well, so. Well, I, that's, I think it starts with the writing. I mean, I think to me, I try and, in the story, give a really clear sense of where, of what the arc of each of the characters is. Okay. And after the actor has read the script, then we talk. And if they have questions or if they're, um, we talk through what's on the page and just kind of, I, I give them any answers they need. Um, I mean, to me, I don't, the only approach I have towards working with actors is trying to figure out what each one of them individually needs in order to do their best work. Did they add like a lot to their characters as well and discuss it with you? Well, always, always, like? always, but not necessarily by adding lines or changing dialogue, hmm. but what they bring to it is by bringing, bringing those things to life. And there are a thousand ways to do that, and every actor is going to give you a different way. Hmm. You know? um, that to me is what's so exciting and, and thrilling about it is uh, you know, the, ver the, the version in my head from yeah. writing the script, yeah. I've already seen that movie. Exactly. That's boring. Yeah. Yeah, I, want, yeah. <laughs> I want to see, see what's going to be created that I never could have expected when we get on set. Mm. And that's why I love actors. Mm. Yeah. Which character, as the writer, which character do you see yourself the most within and why? I mean, definitely Blanc, because... I can totally see that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No, because, I mean... But I think all directors probably like to think of themselves as the detective in a murder mystery, hmm. just kind of um, moving through it and kind of above it all a little bit, kind of like directing sort of the scene and bringing it all to a big satisfying conclusion. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I like Blanc. You also mentioned that this movie is not a crossword puzzle for yeah. people to solve, but it's a roller coaster. That's right. So what do you actually expect the audience? Um, when the first time seeing this movie? Just to have a good time, just to have fun. And that's, uh, my job is to have the audience be having so much fun, they forget they're supposed to be solving a mystery. I love that. So, because I, I don't think it's, yeah, I don't know, I think you can only sustain interest for so long with, with an audience trying to solve a mystery. At some point, they're just gonna be waiting for the revelation. But if you can get their heart pumping, and if you can get them leaning forward, and if you can Stay get them, their yeah, if you can get, the them, the get them saying, oh, no, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. then they're engaged, and then you got a movie. Yeah, that's wow. what it's about. That's amazing. Yeah. One last question. Now, as the creator of this original story, where do you see this big franchise going? Because I can totally see this yeah. In the future, man. Go into space. No, I mean, you never know. You never know. Uh, well, I mean, the trick for it to me is, is not to think of it in terms of a franchise, but to think of it as the next movie. And that's it. You know, is just think, what is the most interesting, exciting thing I can do next that's going to be different than both Glass Onion and Knives Out? What is the third Benoit Blanc mystery going to be that can really surprise me and then surprise the audience hopefully does it burden you at all like you know making like oh it's continuation of like no movies? no no my god no it's the most wonderful i mean i wouldn't do it if it felt like a burden it, to me it feels like i'm doing it next because it's the most exciting thing i can imagine doing next you know if it wasn't i would do something else wow yeah. amazing so what is the next the beatles song that you're gonna oh my right god <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we can afford another one we spend um, all the money on this one <laughs> but it's right, worth then. it Ryan Johnson, I thank awesome. you so much for your time. Thank you, I, I appreciate it. I had more time to talk with you, but yeah. it was amazing, man. That was great, man. Thank you so thank much. You. 
Nah kalau yang ini ada footage nih, dia baik banget mau difoto. Padahal semalam gue udah foto dia sih di after party. Lo, ini dia. Gue pengen banget coba ngirimin print foto ini someday somehow. Terima kasih Pak Director Ryan Johnson. Hope to see you again someday. Kayaknya seru. Seru banget. Obrolannya. Bener. Deep deh jawabannya. Eh, aku nama-namain lo. Beneran kayak pas ngeliat dia langsung pertanyaan tau gak apa pertama? Uh. Kenapa gelas kanyin by The Beatles? Langsung gitu. Oh ya gak ada. Uh. Langsung kayak teng gitu kan. Kenapa gelas kanyin by The Beatles? Dia langsung cerita. Aku langsung nanya aku si favorite member. Dia ceritain prosesnya. Terus pertanyaan yang di sini kan. Terus pertanyaan terakhirnya. So what's the next Beatles song you're gonna write on? Dia kayak I don't think I can afford anymore. Dia bilang like, gitu. Tiba banget. Bye. 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 Eh doain. Bismillah. Doain. 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 Good luck. Ini deg-degan gila bro, lu lihat itu duduknya, eh hey, biasa aja dong gak enak <laughs> Ini interview terakhir for the day buat gua. Dan gue lumayan surprise sih kalau ternyata Edward Norton itu seserius itu All the questions coming out from me today is gonna be from my curiosity and burning passion from acting You guys are such inspiration, congratulations for the movies You guys did very well. Thank you. you are amazing as expected. But Miles Braun itself himself is very over the top and excessive. Don't you agree? And I want to know is there anything or anyone in real life that you drew inspiration from Edward? Um more from a whole species of people. Uh, mm. uh, Ryan and I Ryan and I talked about certain things we had seen and read about and but but from from the very start we were we were talking about we we were pulling characteristics from hmm. men and women and okay. lots of people who have had celebrated like rises and falls and you know um we really put a lot into the blender to come hmm. up with miles do you yeah. see yourself within miles brown or vice versa <laughs> um i don't no i i mean i <laughs> that's what was fun yeah. about it is i uh I think I I, <laughs> I think I live much more quietly than Miles. <laughs> than Miles. Um, Miles is living out loud. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we would. I I actually like him. <laughs> you don't like Miles, but you actually Miles, like Edward. You know, in the film, Miles yeah. and I have a very complicated relationship. Of but if you get to know this guy, like, like um, beautiful, beautiful spirit. I think. Wow. Uh, no, I, but what I would say is, I think I have. The currents of life have brought me into, encou- mm-hmm. I've encountered a lot of mm-hmm. the people that that are form that are that inspire Miles. Um, hmm. uh, yeah, I, I've run into quite a few of those types of people. So it does exist in real life, then. Yeah, yeah. people <laughs> like Miles and Janelle. You did amazing. It was spectacular Thank your you. performance. Thank I thought so Dirty much. Computer was your magnum opus in terms of Aww, music, what? and then I watched you uh, in this movie, and I was like, "Yo, this lady is blessed with talent. Thank Can do you. anything." And I was curious: was there anything from being a musician, from creative or um, performative perspective, that mm-hmm. you dug into while filming? Yeah, I mean, I think going into character, you know, when I take that stage every night, I have to become something somebody I have to embody the song like what am I trying to say yeah. what is this what is the spirit saying you know and that's what I did with Andy I, I had an opportunity to to you know really um, honor all of her spirit and go to different places that I hadn't necessarily gone hmm. you know characteristically the comedy the drama the deep emotional the you new know, everything in between Um, Ryan gave me a role that I could really, it was just so delicious and so just like Beautiful. Uh, a dream role. And mm. I'm forever grateful to, 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 to Ryan and Daniel and everybody for just trusting me with Andy. Do you reckon you sort of treat Andy's or Helen's dialogues as like your lyrics as well when you're like performing, you know? It's like a message you want to say or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess when you think of it in like lyrics, Yeah, you. There's definitely a song there. There's a story there. Hmm. There's a, um, there's a sense of, um, yeah. There's a there's a song there. Hmm. There is. Hmm. There there are lyrics that are very specific to her and her story and the oh, backstory. Yeah, so. with, 
you know, Miles mm. with the rest of the disruptors, the yeah. friends, the yeah. frenemies, the foes, frenemies. the, you know, like um, in this whodunit space. Mm. A lot more mysterious, mm. you know, uh, a lot more questions if there were lyrics. Keep you guessing. A lot, a lot, of, lot, lot of questions, a lot of layers to peel back. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah, she definitely has a song. And what kind of fulfillment you reckon you get from acting that is, that might be different from what you get from music? Mm. Well, I'll just say this, with music, no, with acting, you get an opportunity to like play a character that, you know, I'm not the writer and director. Mm. I love Ryan Johnson. I'm so like, he's somebody that you just say yes to. Like even mm. before I read the script, I, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm doing it. I don't care if it's a two second commercial. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I love yeah, his yeah, yeah. taste so much and yeah. what he's done already that it was, you know, something that I, I really wanted to do. Um, but it's his specific like, characters you know we collaborate we do all this and you you're honoring the character hmm. on that page and you can add your, your your things into and you can go there with music on the other hand it's all me like it's i can't hide you. behind yeah. another writer director like i'm from the baseline to the visuals to the lyrics it's like, all your head it's, it's it's all like i have to stand on it i have hmm. to stand behind it and um, even though like you're portraying sort of characters, I do a lot of concept albums. So all of my, my projects from the Arc Android all the way up to Dirty Computer have a story in the same way like uh, Ziggy Stardust and Spiders mm. from Mars or, you know, some of those, some of my favorite concept albums I was inspired by, um, but it's still under Janelle Monae. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's just different characters It's just a different playing. sort of like vulnerability and uh, right. anxiety that I have with, on the music side. I'm breaking away from it a little bit, but yeah, so that's that's the difference. One is, yeah, I made the point. <laughs> right, okay. One last question. Your favorite, top of the list, number one, the Beatles song. Go. Ooh. That's uh, a really, that's a tough one. Like, how are you going to do that to <laughs> Come us? on, let's go. Just one. To top of your head. Um, oh, <laughs> so many beautiful songs. Obviously. The last Onion is one of them. I mean, Glass Onion mm -hmm. is a beautiful song. I yeah. mean, I think... The song that I learned how to play on guitar was uh, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Awesome. That's which I one. love. It's like such a simple, like, grounding song yeah. to, you know, to just connection, human to human connection, love connection. Um, the chords are just beautiful, the changes. It's like a, it's like a perfect song mm. in, in a way. Like, awesome. Crafted, you crafted, know? Perfectly crafted. Mm -hmm. What about you, Edward? Um, I think having just watched Peter Jackson's great uh, documentary on making the Let It Be record, I, mm. I might, I might, I'm trying to think, maybe I'd go with Get Back. I think that that's, mm. that's all of them working at a really high level together, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, something So awesome. many though, something, oh. that's, that's George that Harrison, so man. I mean, beautiful. Yeah. Oh. We can go on and on yeah. and on. No, this I know. It's just stop, but, yeah. but yeah. That was a trick question. <laughs> Thank you guys so much Thank for you. the opportunity. Awkward. Gue sempat minta foto dan gak dikasih. Itu nggak apa-apa. Gue yakin mereka taunya gue adalah jurnalis konvensional. Tapi gue sempat dengar interviewer sebelum gue ngomong kalau Bung Edward moodnya lagi kurang asik. Jadi ketika gue dapat respon dari idola gue yang gak sesuai sama ekspektasi gue, ya gue patah hati. Gimana? Ya oke. Okay. Gak boleh foto ya? Si, ada yang sudah capek kali ya. Siapa? Si Edward kan. Oh iya. Tadi hmm, datang kayak cuma main HP, satu hal lagi dulu kan. Gak ada yang mau gitu. Terus, ya pas terakhir kayak boleh aja lah. Apa? Pas terakhir tanya kan kayak boleh nih ngambil portrait. Terus dia kayak, now we don't do pictures gitu. Terus si Janela yang kayak, lebih baik si Janela kayaknya. Uh, bilang apa nih? Kayak, it's okay, kita ngambil mental screenshot aja. Terus dia kayak ngeliat aku sih kayak, gitu. Kamu foto siapa? Enggak, maksudnya enggak bisa, enggak bisa. Oh, heeh. Gitu. gitu. Ya, oke. Okay. Nah, Daniel Craig itu sepanjang proses jangket dan juga screening di hari sebelumnya, beliau tuh lagi sakit, jadi berhalangan untuk hadir. Maka dari pihak Netflix-nya sudah nge-arrange uh, sebuah tanggal seminggu kemudian di mana kita bisa interview beliau secara daring atau online. Ini dia. My name is Iqbal and I'm an actor from Indonesia. Such nice a big to see you. 
talk to you today. Congratulations, firstly, on Glass Onion, Benoit Blanc strikes again. Mm -hmm. um, first question, I reckon, just like Glass Onion, there are many layers of Blanc that are revealed in this movie. And my question is, um, what layers did you keep from the first movie and what layers of Blanc did you unveil for Glass Onion? Um, I well, we get to see a bit more of Blanc in this movie than the first one. Um, he's, uh, uh, but I, I'm, I always sort of think that he should remain um, a bit of a mystery. I think it's really important in a in a, in a movie like this and this in this genre that, that the detective is is not the sort of center of attention. He's not the kind of person you're following. The per, the people that you should be interested in are the protagonists, or the the suspects or as everyone is a suspect and uh, and the, and maybe the person who gets murdered um and and watching you know how they confess or don't confess or give clues away and are putting in and and that what I think is so wonderful about Ryan's movie is that um there are lots of uh Lots of clues given out, or lots of Easter eggs put in, and every single one of them pays off. And so for an audience, it's just watching that and watching how that, that unfolds, I think, is that one of the joys of the movie. Well, that's awesome. And Benoit Blanc seems more human, as I might say, or I reckon more relatable okay. to the audience. Uh -huh. Was that like something that you wanted to achieve? Or like, how was the discussion with Ryan when making the I, Benoit Blanc? I don't know. I, I don't know if we actually did have that discussion, but he, hmm. you know, so much of what Ryan, he, he puts on the page is in the movie. Um, so I think maybe we just, we just talked about it a little bit about, um, about how, you know, he has a, a technique in the first movie of of, of uncovering the uh, the, uh, the truth, although he knows the mm. truth from the opening, from the moment he, he, he gets there. Um, this one is a different technique, and it, I think it's to do with his, uh, basically deep down, I think Benoit is very kind, um, but he's also... Um, he loves people. He wants to talk and he wants to find out what they're about and he wants to and he asks lots and lots of questions and he allows mm. people to confess to him. Um, mm. And I think that's and it's just it's, it's a genuine um, interest in people's lives. I also want to talk about the flow between, you know, each characters in the movie and how you guys just very fluidly, you know, um, the dynamic is just very awesome. Mm. I wonder how much improvisation did you guys do during the filming process? There, there is, there's, there's, there's quite a lot in the movie that got, that stayed in the movie. But I would always say, you know, the, 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 the best way for improvisation to work is if you have a good script and a funny script. Um, I like that. I, you, I don't think you can make a script funny. I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not from that background. I'm not. I'm not an improv. I don't come from an improvisational background. Uh, so, mm -hmm. I think if you had something as good as Ryan's script, which when I first read it, I laughed when I read the script. Then everybody's at a, at a certain level, and all you're doing is adding to that. And it's impossible not to have moments in the movies with people like Catherine Hahn and uh, and Kate and <laughs> everybody else in the movie. There's just bits of magic that just appeared that mm. are just they're all over the film. That's awesome. Okay, one last question, Daniel. Mm. What is your top number one on top of the list? The Beatles' favorite song. Oh, Beatles song. Gosh. Beatles song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your favorite um, song. What's my favorite Beatles song? Um, um, gosh, let's think. Uh, oh, I probably, <laughs> you know, it is, it's tough. There's so many, that's the thing. Um, I, I think it's probably, um, going to be, it's, it's either something or it's the whole of the, B, it's, 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 it's either the whole of the B side to Abbey Road. Awesome. Janelle, I think, said something as well. I think Edward said get back or something like that right, but right. definitely a good choice right. daniel thank you so much for your time and All for right. this opportunity my thank pleasure you so thank much. you so much and that was my trip in la for glass onion and knives out mystery persis kayak filmnya hidup lu selalu penuh dengan misteri lo bisa punya prasangka sama sesuatu lo bisa kerja sekeras yang lo mampu berhentian Kayaknya hidup tuh akan selalu ngebawa lo ke pilihan-pilihan terbaik di waktu yang paling tepat. Makanya, jangan takut bermimpi dan jangan takut berhayal. Udahlah enak, gratis lah. Mimpi aja setinggi-tingginya, lo usah takut jatuh. Dan lo harus percaya sama apapun yang lo lakukan. Yakin 100% sama visi lo. Jangan pernah cepat puas dan selalu hargain kritik dari orang-orang 
yang bisa bikin lo lebih baik. Emang sih kadang-kadang overthinking itu susah banget dihindari. I get that. Tapi kalau lo cuma thinking doang, nggak pakai doing, ujung-ujungnya lo end up lying in bed crying for nothing. Gue juga percaya kalau hidup itu bukan puzzle yang harus lo pecahin, tapi lebih mirip roller coaster. Ikutin aja arahnya mau kemana. Embrace the unknown. Sedap. No, tapi serius. Makin dilawan, makin anxious. Malah bisa insecure. Bawa asik aja. Video ini adalah rekaman memori dan bentuk manifestasi. Kalau suatu hari mimpi-mimpi lo kesampean, inget kalau semuanya berawal dari ngayang. Oke okay, bang. Gue curi kali ya? <laughs>